I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't hear Gabe make the call, but he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about... We review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. 
Oh shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift from Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the art for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. No way. I can't. What? The 
actually kept it. that bottle made her think of it really messed her up I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah, he's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. <laughs> Asshole. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. 
You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip socks! Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Who's what? How convinced were you that that was gonna work from one to 10? <laughs> Like a three? That's well, more than zero. Woo! Foosball champion! Foosball champion! God damn, <laughs> Chin family! Oh! <laughs> Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Of course. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it.
So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Max deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Gabe. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. I had an incredible mom. I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. But Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Oh, hey kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No. There's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but... What else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But 
If you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. R, M, and T, B. I wonder who they were. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. You could stay here, too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of, like, four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. 
It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... Time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, Steph. Thanks, Jed. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. The park looks fun to explore. Oh, sorry. You're fine. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need you. Is she looking for a bird? Maybe I'll keep an ear out. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. That might be our feathered friend. A novel? Since... There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't Might think be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Hey. Hey. Sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss.
Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith, but you're right. He's dead because of them and I'd be letting them off. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's fine. I love... Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time.
Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So? What do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with... Their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. I'm Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The Spring Festival is just around the corner. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac.
Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place, and anyway. He's not a robot. Technically, he's... Ugh. God. Way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I... would... really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. figure out why she's afraid. How does she hide all of this? Oh, my memories, oh, my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Riley finds out. She can't find out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If they know if they about know my condition, about my condition they'll, make they'll make me close this place.
It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. Okay. What would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Ugh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Did you trim these flowers today? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember.
You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She would... Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Buy your chicken coop? I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. happen with her? We're done here. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. I hope it's good news. I hope you find Mac. Thanks.
just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is, the mining company is about to expand. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Coffee in the morning, whiskey before bed. Works like a charm. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry... I'm really not ready to talk about it. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac.
how do I get her to open up? If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can... Do you... want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to... Skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God. It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. I know. 
know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here. 
and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool okay i'm i'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know Ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that makes you so angry 
you just want to scream. You can really focus until you feel it. The wasted potential. You're angry for me, for Ethan and Charlotte, for everyone who had their futures with Gabe stolen. Wish you could have been there with us. There was no one in the world more fun to be around. <laughs> Man, this one time. <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? together. <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, <laughs> this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. 
It's, it's only ever been the bad emotions before, but that, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Say